Hey, kia ora. Helen Brown's here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you've all had a super fantastic sparkling winning Wednesday today. So what wins did you have today? What are your wins for today that you are celebrating today? This morning we talked about our weekly wins. Tonight we're talking about what wins did you have today that helps keep that Winning feeling going and moving and keeping it going. Chug, good, chug, good, chug. Um, no idea where that came from. <laughs> I had an amazing accountability call with my accountability coach today. It was really, really good. I was able to see, share some wins with her and um, got lots of encouragement from her to keep going forward. And um, I'm finding that um, when I when I complete things, complete tasks, complete a goal, um, complete something that it sparks creativity which is kind of cool um this afternoon i spent i was assisting helping to train new people um and uh, that was a lot that was a lot of fun that was a lot of fun um i always love um, helping people learn a system and um but i also got to be creative today and uh, it was kind of fun i was like oh my gosh i'm enjoying this so much and then my, I started off with one idea that translated into a series of ideas. So I was like, oh, I can actually do that. That's something I can do. Oh, this is so cool. Um, so, yeah, so um, now I just have to figure out, yeah. I got some things to figure out on that creativity, but the first portion of it is done. I just have to create the rest of it now. And it will be easy because I can duplicate the first um, the first. Um, I can duplicate what I've done on the first one and just make the little tweaks and changes that need to be made so it becomes a, um, it can complete the project. So I'm looking forward to having that done. And I just sat here and wrote down um, while I was waiting for it to turn six o'clock. See, I was ready today. I was ready at, at 17.55. So at 5.55 p.m., I was ready to go live. So I sat here quickly, wrote down um, key points for my um, for my idea and how it's going to work and all of that sort of thing. And uh, it was done before six o'clock. I was like, yes, I'm being super productive today. Woo! Um, despite the fact that I got woken up just after 3 a.m. by a certain DOG who wanted to go out at, it was like 3.03 or 3.05 in the morning, she wanted to go out. I was like, okay. We come back in, she jumps up on the bed, goes to her little area, curls up and goes straight to sleep. Me. Not a chance of me going back to sleep at all. Nope. So I have been up since just after three o'clock this morning. <laughs> Running on a few fumes right now. I was going to go take a power nap when I finished work at five. But instead, I made myself dinner. We had nachos Helen style tonight. Um, and nachos Helen style is just putting the nacho chips on there with some cheese, some bacon bits, and some spinach. And what else did I have on there? Other little bits, whatever else I can, whatever I can find in the refrigerator. And um, that I can easily chop up into small pieces, sprinkle it on top of the nachos. Then it went into the air fryer for five minutes, came out, it was so good. Oh my gosh. Those um the um the, the corn chips um and the fry and the and the air fry when you do them come out so crunchy. It is really good. And I had my little mate sitting right here next to me, eyeing the nachos, wanting her little pieces of bits of cheese because she loves the melted cheese and she loves the corn chips. So she got a little bit of both and um but she sat, she sits very, very quietly. It is amazing. Um, there's very few times that she's actually like leaned right over. And you know, as it's coming up to your mouth, her mouth is here. There's been a couple of times that's happened. I just pull back and I look at her and go, What do you think you're doing? And she just goes back to sitting very straight, straight and tall. She is so funny. <laughs> she is hilarious. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be going for our, our WALK shortly. And today's tell your story question of the day was what was your favorite outdoor activity when you were growing up? And do you still do that outdoor activity that you used to do? I don't play cricket anymore. Haven't played cricket in since I left high school. Um, that's a sport known to several countries, not very big here in the US. Um, but it's a cool fun game. <laughs> so I haven't played cricket and I enjoyed playing cricket. It was awesome. I was a bowler and uh, kind of like a pitcher in baseball, but the arm comes up and you stand, you run up and you turn sideways to the batsman and the arm comes up and over and you bowl it down the cricket pitch um and there's like in baseball there's seams on there's a seam on the cricket ball one side's dull and one side shiny 
and based on how you hold it and which way is facing which side's facing shiny or dull facing down the pitch and all that there's a whole bunch of different bowls that you can do based on um, where your fingers are on the central seam which is a raised seam and um you know your fingers could be either side of the seam they could be across the seam um, all sorts of different things you can have the shiny bit facing the batsman you can have the dull bit facing the batsman there's all sorts of different ways that you can or kind of like there is pitching uh for pitches with baseballs how they can hold it in different ways to get their different curve balls and and um curve balls and speed balls and whatever other types of throwing that there is um what other outdoor activities did i used to do that i haven't done most of them like or well, the beach one i don't like soft sand i like wet sand I'd rather have a boardwalk that goes across the dry sand onto the wet sand because I like walking on the wet sand and I love standing um, just there on the edge as the water's coming in and then feeling it pull the sand away underneath your feet. I love that feeling. It's an awesome feeling. And I love just standing there just with the waves coming up and pulling the sand out from underneath my feet. It's, it's a, I don't know, I'm just weird. <laughs> but I won't go much further into the, into the ocean, but um, that's one thing that I like to do if I didn't have to walk on the dry sand to get there because then you've got to, with your wet feet, you then got to walk on the dry sand to get back and you end up with these slippers made of sand on your feet by the time you get back to the car and then it's the fun of getting it all off your feet. <laughs> so that's just me and my little quirkiness. Um, but, you know, I, and the other cool part about being in the wet sand too is you can build sand castles there. They turn out better than those on the dry, made of the dry sand. Dry sand kind of falls away a little bit. So I used to enjoy doing that too and what else do i do reading outside i can still read outside i love doing that love going on picnics love going for drives yeah if it was sunny we were outside although i don't think my parents would have that rule here in arizona since the temperatures get very very hot <laughs> we were living in arizona i don't think we would have had that rule if it's not raining you're outside because <laughs> it kind of gets a little warm here a little toasty but anyway so what um, activities did you enjoy, outdoor activities did you enjoy when you are growing up and are you still doing them? What are some of your favorite activities that you do outside now? You know, some people have learned rock climbing since they were kids. Um, you know, do you still, you know, that's something that they may enjoy now that they didn't get the chance to do when they were a kid. So, you know, what sort of things do you do now that you did? What, what is your favorite, okay, here's another portion to this question. I'm going to put a little twist on this. So what was your favorite outdoor activity when you were growing up? Are you still doing that activity today? And you can make it activities if you wish. Um, but then my other question is, what outdoor activities have you picked up since you, um, as an adult? As an adult, what outdoor activities have you picked up that you enjoy? Is it still the same ones you did as a kid? Is it something completely new? You know, what sort of outdoor activities do you do now compared to what you used to do when you were a kid? So there's another good way you can look it up. Anyway, I'm out of here. I got a DOG to take for WALK. So we will catch you guys tomorrow, bright and early tomorrow morning for Thankful Thursday. Thankful Thursday tomorrow. Yay! So you should begin every day with a grateful heart. You should end every day with a grateful heart. And Thursday we just give thank we give thanks in all situations. But I don't know. Thursday we just concentrate on it a little more than we do on the other days. So you should always, always be grateful in any situation. Have a super fantastic sparkling evening and we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning for Thankful Thursday. Hey.